<coughs> okay. Right, everyone. So the next things we're now going to look at are working with shapes. Okay. And here's an example. This is quite a complex shape. It's not just one shape. It's several shapes together. Okay. So support works LSWs, please, when you go back to your own machines. And you're going to have a go at this yourselves first. Okay, how this is done. So we've got here, it's like a little, a little dinosaur, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got the head there, like some ears. I've not that one before. No, exactly. You've got, and then we've also got colour. That's yeah, coloured in really nicely, yeah? And look how it shines a bit. It's got like a, like a shine on it, yeah? Like that. See that? So, <clears throat> what we can do with our object, okay? I'm going to reset and start again. Just reload the whole thing. Now, you know, if you ever lose your perspective, LSW, if you lose your perspective, just go to camera and reset bar. I think that might be space bar, you know, let's try that out. It's space bar. Space bar brings you back to the front if you lose where you are. Where is it? Just space bar. Yeah? Space yeah. bar on the keyboard, that's true. Ah. Yeah, that's it. Just yeah. so say I get really lost, like, like it looks like that, yeah, I'm miles away and it's all messed up. Yeah. Like this, yeah? That happens. Space bar brings you back, okay, in an okay. instant. Now, um, this clay is round, okay, it's a sphere at the moment. What if I want to change the shape of it? Maybe it's not what I need, yeah? So what I can do is I can use something called transform, okay, by pressing the E key on the keyboard. Yeah, E, the E key. And if you press E on the keyboard, what happens is you get this thing appearing. Now what E does is a few things, and what I'd like you to also do yourselves, working with E, is you're going to be able to move this thing in different directions. Remember I said X, Y, and Z, yeah? X, Y, and Z before. Which way, which color of arrow is X? You've got three colors, blue, red, or green. Which color is X? Gonna be gonna move. Yeah. Haven't got yellow at all, mate. I've only got green, red, and blue. Which one's that? Red. It's red. Red is right. Red goes left and right. Yeah. Now I said why. I said you before. I said I said why goes up and down, right? So which color is up and down gonna be? What's up and down? Go on, look at the screen. I've got red, green, or blue. Hey, What's ben, up and down? Are you listening to the... Ben, Benjamin? Yes. Which, which one goes up and down of the arrows there? Ben. Take a little Thank you, down. Astrid. What colour is that arrow? Blue, green. Blue, green. Blue, green. Green. Thank you, Ryan. So green is up and down, right. Yeah, that's correct. And then... After that, hey, hey Ben, concentrate please. Come, come back to me please. Right. That's why. Thank you. So green is up and down. Okay, up and down. And then, now the other one is is blue. Now what does blue do? Is it goes in and out? It's actually depth backwards and forwards. Right. That's blue there. Okay, I'm using my right mouse again to move around the object like this. There you go. So, now I've got this. The other thing I can do is, not only can I move it like that way and that way, I also can make it bigger and smaller. And the way I do this is, I go, I go over the green box like that, I click it and I can do this. I can squish it. So I made like an egg now. See that? Yeah. I think an egg would be a good shape. There's your green there. Yeah, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Easter coming up. That's probably what we'll do. There you go, is your green. Like this. And then you've got your red. Like that. Yeah. And like, like that. That's your red there. All right? Like this. And I've got your then blue, if you turn it around, can do this. It's just your depth. But really, I mean, you want to shape it. We're going to try and make an egg shape. Like, oh, like this. Um, yeah, I know. If I want to start off with a square. Like yeah, you can do so. I'm going to show you a few different shapes now. So here's, that's the first way of doing it. You, you can transform by using the boxes and the arrows. Move it around like this, okay? 
Okay. So I'd like you to do any one of those things. The other thing is I also want to let you choose what shape you want to work with. It doesn't have to be like this. If I hit the delete key, it disappears. Okay, any point. It just disappears, right? Delete key disappears. And then what I can do is if I want to create a new shape, I go up to scene and I can add either sphere, cube, cylinder, or torus. Now these are four big well-known shapes, right? You all know these shapes, okay? So I'm gonna put one on the screen now. You gotta guess what shape it is. Right, you just call out the name of the shape. Ready? What's that? I don't know. What shape is this? Square. square. Kind of. It's a square, yeah, but what's special about a square? What kind of square is this? Box. What's that? Box, well, yes, yeah, gonna have a name for it. This is called a cube. Okay, everyone, so the word is cube, all right? Understand that? Cube. Like on the telly. Like on the telly, yeah, the program, the cube. Yeah. Good. Yes, yeah, so that's cube, delete that. What's this shape gonna be next? I'll do it quickly. Next one, pencil case. Oh yeah, I know. So ben, Ben's pencil case, right? Can you hold it up, Ben, please? Hold it up in the air, please, so we can see it. Is that shape there? Same shape as the pencil case, what's that called? Cylinder. Cylinder. Very good. Heavy mass today. Embedded. <laughs> right. You know it all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Embedding math. Are you a mathematician then? Uh, I won't comment on that. Science is certainly an interest of mine. Okay. Sphere, cube, cylinder. One more. There's a tricky one. What's that? What does that look like? Donut. 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 It's a donut. Homer? What's that? Homer Simpson. <laughs> All right. That is called, okay, a torus shape. It's like a ring, yeah? Or a donut. I've just remembered, man, at the end of the session, talk afterwards. Right. You, you, you can have more than one shape. You can add scene, cube, and a sphere. You can add them all in if you want to, right? Oh, wow, we did it. Cute. And you can you can you can do this. Inside. Yeah, you can move things around like that. You can select them and move them. You can add on various shapes like this. Yeah, have two spheres if you want, like that. Okay. We can make some shapes. So what I'd like you to do is just put some shapes on this on the um, canvas. Yeah. Okay, and transform, move them around using the red key and the green key. Should be up and down like that. You're gonna get some sort of shapes going. I've not done it before. I know you haven't, yeah. Look, look, it's like a planet. Look, look at that. It's like a planet, isn't it? Yeah? Look at that. Okay. Oh, see? That's great. Like that, yeah. It's like a little planet there, you see? And there's your 3D planet. Uh, yeah, I know. Meg would like this. But she, she'll go, have us a video. You can send this to her as a video. Yeah, I'll upload it. Okay, so, um, all done. Off you go, folks. Try and make some clear, clear your scene. Okay. Right. Maybe I should save your scene. One second. Hang on, wait a second, folks. Let me run around and save everything rapidly. Give me a minute. Right, okay folks, let's refresh all now, just reload the page. Refresh. Now we're working with multiple shapes. Yeah. <coughs> 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 
Yeah. Resets on working. Space bar. Space bar. What's up, uh, Cheryl? What's wrong? Space bar should do it on the keyboard. What's up? What's wrong? Space bar on the keyboard is. Also, if we go to the background. Yeah. I'll come over. Background reset. 